The rag is on the line when these two teams fight for the right to take it home. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and joining me, as always, Kirk Herb Street and Lee Corso. The Tigers are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. Uh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty ugly. Tulane has been all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Really? In my opinion, they could have spent all year. Kirk, I agree with you 100. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Single set backfield. There's the play to make. Hit as he throws. It's tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. The Tigers come out in a two-tight end set, setting up the play action. Batted ball. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tulane brings in their nickel package. Play action. Throws this one out to the left. It falls incomplete. Well, again, they can hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. Send out the punting unit. Didn't get all of that one. Number 13 takes it at the 33. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. They got a little bit of help there. Yeah, they sure did. They'll gladly take anything this defense is going to give them out there. First down and five to go. Ball in the 14. This place is starting to get fired up. Nice play fake. He gets the pass away. The ball is tipped. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. Number six comes to the line with three wide. He's under some heat. Somebody came free on that one. Yeah, the linebacker shot through. Nobody picked him up. He was all over him, sir. He wasn't letting that quarterback get away. Third down and 12. Ball on the 21-yard line. This place is getting loud. He drops back. Down the middle. And that one's falling incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He relax and just make a good play. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. No good. He missed it to the right. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. Single set back for you. There's the play fake. Across the middle. Cut. And they make the stop. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking with the deep. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. LSU. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Set. 
Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Tempo. Delay of game. On the offense. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. The ball is tipped. Incomplete pass. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. Nice play fake. He's looking down the middle. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes throwing your way. So you got to catch the easy ones. Third down, 15. Ball on their own 27. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Packer. to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No game. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 36 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 13 feels it at the 50. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, that poor kicker has to go down the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. Tulane comes out with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So let me show you my Dolphin gameplay setting for running the games in 4K. So let me go to the general first. I'm using the DirectX 11. You can easily use the DirectX 12. Only the downside is that when using DirectX 12, you cannot run the benchmarking tool so that's why I'm using the DirectX 11 for me both of them give me the same result for the adapter I'm using the dedicated GPU which is the GTX 6060 Ti or if you are going to play games in 4k for the Dolphin GameCube emulator I will suggest you to at least go with the GTX 1050 or GTX uh, 6060 or Ti or higher graphic card because it will help you to play games smoothly and you can see so I leave the aspect ratio in auto sometime you running the games and 16 by 9 dip the frame rate and increase the GPU load for the enhancement I'm using the 4k 6x for the internal resolution and for anti-aliasing I'm using the 2x if I try to go with 4 x or 8x it will increase my gpu load when i am running the games with 2x it will only increase the gpu load up to 50 percent some games will go above 50 percent so that's why i need some space left for the gpu maybe some some games are rendering a scene which is very heavy so the fps is going to dip if i'm running at 4x or 8x the game is going to struggle a lot to run so 2x is the maximum I, I can recommend it so this all of the setting and everything remain the same for hack and advanced now let me show you for the config everything remain the same I didn't change anything so yeah these were the setting for the dolphin emulator to run the games in 4k you are free to use my game footage file make sure just to give me a credit to my gmail geek channel name and then i have done the entire gamecube games library in 4k so every day i'm uploading sing one video at least for it i hope you can subscribe share my video and then above all i want you to leave a comment to let me know do you think the game is playable how is the audio quality how is the frame rate let's start the discussion in the comment section box below gamecube revolution gamecube will live forever subscribe and bye